Alright, we're watching some movie trailers from 1969 and 1970. Oh, okay then, let's watch something vintage and weird at the same time. Yeah, good idea, Klonoa. Ha ha. Yeah, Kirby, you said it, pal. Alright, boys. Here are the trailers from 1969 to 1970. Let's watch those previews. Everybody in this whole country is out of line is going to learn fear, and that's going to be very shortly. We can't provide a lot of time, sympathetic understanding. These people are hurting, Reinhardt. They're hurting and they don't really know. There ain't no such thing as a good guy or a bad guy. We're just all in this together. I think they are aware that the kind of politics we have in this country today is just not going to work anymore. Then you sign a loyalty oath. You're into the big, clean American sound of WUSA. The sound of a decent generation. What do you do? I'm a communicator. Hello, easily, lad. Hey, how about little old me getting smart on you to jump into Lake Party train? <laughs> we'll leave you with one message, the big message. The future of America is up to you. We're a movement now. We have a point of view here at WUSA. This station exists for that movement, not the other way around. Every now and then we come out from behind our glass walls and mix with the folks a little. Americans, remember no matter what anyone says, we're okay. Someday, while everybody's fighting to decide right from wrong, someone or something will come along and decide it all for us. Americans, our shoulders are broad and sweaty, but our breath is sweet. Give us the strength to struggle against the godlessness. Only in America, We're okay. Now, I want you to say that with me. We're okay. WUSA. Love it or leave it. Run, have fun, there's always a rainbow to ride, but your toys are broken now, and there's no place to hide. The Grasshopper, what kind of girl is she? It's very simple what I want to be. Totally happy, totally different, and totally in love. Eddie, let's have a baby. Come on, come on, let's have a baby. Hey, hey, come on, let's have a baby. I know the reason you go out with all those guys. It's so that you won't get involved with any of them, right? I'm not like that. Yes, I am. Grasshopper, what kind of girl is she? Take me out to the plane now. Can you spell it? Sure, I can. It's the first word I ever learned. <laughs> Here you can get a leg of change, see? Oh, beautiful. If the people who will want your friends now say unfriendly words, it seems to me. But if you just close your mind and start to feel that you're the only one who's right. Then you've lost touch with humanity, but as far as I'm concerned, love, it's your life. Mm. I 
just want to be someone special. The Grasshopper. Pictures proudly presents Goodbye Columbus Based on the novella by Philip Roth A Stanley R. Jaffe production in Technicolor and Directed by Larry Pierce Screenplay by Arnold Schulman Starring Richard Benjamin and Jack Klugman Co-starring Nan Martin with new songs by the association and introducing Ali McGraw. making my nose wiggle with those 1969 and 1970 movie trailers. So vintage, 
and weird at the same time. Yeah, Pac-Man, these previews were so darn awesome, weird, and vintage at the same time. Ha ha. Agreed, boys. These trailers were so rare you know. These caught my own eyes, laughing out loud. Yep, agreed. These were so vintage those movie trailers, plus, very true. Ha ha. Yay, boys. These 1969 and 1970 movie trailers were so vintage, retro, and weird at the same time. Plus, it's awesome. Oh no! Here comes Gigan and Megalon. Yeah. What the heck are you two boys doing around here? That's right, you crapheads. This is me, Megalon. And I'm Gigan. And we're the enemies of Godzilla. And also, we're here to force you to watch a really horrid movie from the 1990s. What? Oh no. I hope it's not neither Beverly Hills Ninja, nor Warriors of Virtue. Nor neither A Troll in Central Park, one of the worst animated movies of 1994. Yeah! I agree with Bowser Jr. and Clono. These are awful you know. Yeah, Gigan, Megalon, don't force us to watch those horrid movies from the 1990s. Please. No. Well. It's going to be the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, from 1995. Oh no. Not Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. This movie is so darn awful. Yeah, Kiwi. Besides, the Power Rangers fan base is so darn toxic. Shut the hell up. We're forcing you to watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie and that's final. Gigan, Megalon, why the heck are you forcing us to watch this stupid Power Rangers movie? It's so darn toxic. Oh yes, this is darn torture and toxic at the same time. This is way worse than any other- Shut the hell up, you cretins. Stop telling us what to do. Yep. You better shut your mouths. Or else, we'll kill every single one of you. Nice try, Godzilla enemy fools. Punch my nose. Go on! Well, I bet this is going to hurt. Don't you think, guys? Yes. Pac-Man, I see your nose, dude. Wiggle your nose to taunt those imbeciles. Alright. My nose is wiggling. Rayman. Alright, Gigan Megalon, punch my nose. Just do it. Alright, Pac-Man. You big yellow bastard. Time to cut off your nose. What? Oh no. This is real pain. Well, this is going to hurt extremely horrid, Pac-Man. Here comes the pain. No. Megalon. Don't chop off Pac-Man's nose with a sword. Please. No. Yeah, Megalon. Why are you going to chop off Pac-Man's nose with this sword? Dude. Stop it. Alright. Time to chop off your nose, Pac-Man. Okay, Pac-Man. Time to chop your nose off. Here comes the pain, yellow loser. Ha ha ha. Ah, my nose! Megalon, you chopped off my nose on purpose, you sick idiot. That hurts! Now, that's going to hurt so much. Megalon, why on earth you chopped off Pac-Man's nose? Extreme pain. Yeah, this is very serious, Megalon! You chopped off Pac-Man's nose on purpose! You tortured him, Kirby, Waddle D, Todd, Kibi, and Rayman! Put back Pac-Man's nose on his face now! You got it, Claptrap. Run it. Don't worry, Pac-Man. We'll get your nose back right now. Yep. We're coming to get your nose back on, Pac-Man. <coughs> Alright, Pac-Man. Rayman's got your nose. He'll put it back on for you. Alright, Pac-Man. Now, hold still, buddy. Are you guys ready? Of course, we are, Kirby. Born ready. Alright. On the count of three, boys. One, One two, three, two, two, go, three. three. Go. Go. Okay, Pac-Man, your nose is back on. Now, wiggle your nose left to right. Now, wiggle your nose up and down like this. Thanks.
Thanks, boys. My nose got a lot better when I wiggled it. Thanks ever so much. All right, jerks. We're taking you to watch the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie from 1995. Let's go, idiots. Oh no. This is going to be torture. Don't you agree, boys? Oh yeah. I agree. This is Dog Chatter. Gigan, Megalon, why the heck are you forcing us to watch this cheesy Power Rangers movie from 1995? This movie is so toxic and awful. Yeah, what'll do? I agree with you. This is going to be torture. Yep. Screw you for forcing us to watch this. You suck jerks, Gigan, and Megalon. Shut, Shut the, the hell, hell up. up. Arizona, 1873. Ah! A savage, bloodstained land, born to the Apache. Invaded by white settlers, plunderers, rioters, raiders. can't have it with the Apache. They say that this is their country, that we gotta get out or we gotta die. I don't intend to get out, and I don't intend to die. Telly Savalas is Vince, the ruthless land raider. What he can't buy, he steals. When he can't steal, he kills. Do you understand what this means? If the Apaches are blamed for this, there will be no peace. This territory will be up to its ears in blood. George Mahalis as Pablo the Mexican. The peacemaker. My brother's starting a war. That's everyone's business. Well, I'm not gonna fuck it. I fought my last fight a long time ago. Two brothers divided. You're a gringo or you're dirt. For the gringos. Separated by a terrible secret. I'm going to tell. Everybody's going to know. Two brothers united by a terrible war. These are the Land Raiders' women. Janet Landguard, never one to be owned. So Vince Carden owns me too. Is that what you're trying to say? I wasn't yours to sell. Arlene Dahl, the one he marries. You're his wife. You live in his house. You sleep in his bed. You get your share of everything he grabs. <laughs> For God's sake, do you hate him that much? The incited hatred, invited murder. They're after these savage beasts and stay after them until there's not one Apache scalp left in the whole Arizona Territory. American history's bloodiest era. It was the best of times. They were the best of friends. They made the best of memories. Why don't you go somewhere? Your face of mine. Those cool, cool days. Ah! Coolie high. The film is now the movie. <laughs> 
Five diametrically opposed teams of college students are challenged to compete in a grueling all-night game. Midnight Madness. If Levitas and his animals decide to play, I want to be there and beat them. Midnight Madness. It's about winning and losing. The game that demands sophisticated strategies. Four flat tires. Harold, you beached whale. Are we losing our temper? <laughs> It's beautiful. Midnight Madness. It's about... It's about girls. David Norton. Stephen First. Eddie Deason. Deborah Klinger. I thought you'd never ask. Dirk Blocker. I think I'm gonna be sick. See them match wits in a game that could only be played at night. Experience Midnight Madness for the most fun you can legally have in the dark. died in the 60s but he's back in the 80s the heavenly kid you never know who's looking out for you the heavenly kid coming this summer from orion pictures it's one of the most beloved animated classics of all time I wish I was a boy. Is that you, dear blue fairy? But that's another movie. Ow, you're hurting me, dear blue fairy. How many times I gotta tell you, dog breath, I ain't no fairy! Coming only to theaters. Is it really you? In the fur! Disney's teacher's pet. World, here I come! I got a boy. The musical tale of a dreamer. Him with the dream again. It's not enough you dress up like a boy and go to that cockamamie school every day. Who is so over being Rover. Be a good doggy. This really stinks. You should smell it from down here. What? Until one day. Dr. Ivan Crank claims he can turn animals into dumb human beings just like you. It's my dream come true. Now, he's taking a chance. I've got to meet that man. And unleashing the power of his inner boy. Spot! Who is that? He looked a lot shorter on TV. Maybe it's the axe. I shall make you a boy. Oh, that is just wrong on so many levels. A boy needs a Coming only to theaters. Disney's Teacher's Pet. He's good. I wish I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. Since the beginning of time, mankind has searched for answers to the big questions. Where did we come from? Is there life after death? Are we alone? But today, in this very theater, you will be asked to answer the ultimate question. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? 
the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Bigger. Squarier. Spongier. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Woo All right, name the town. I'll be on my way in the morning. What? Nineveh? You don't want me to go there. In a land of mystery. Uh, Nineveh! It's the other end of the world! <laughs> In a town full of trouble. Nineveh, the biggest, meanest city around. Those people do not know right from wrong. It's up to one reluctant asparagus. You are a Jonah! You are a big shot! <laughs> I have the Jonah plush toy. With the help of some fearless friends. We are the pirates who don't do anything. Oh, you'll know that's right. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Oh, lovely. To go where no vegetable has dared to go. We got trouble! You are... you are... Fish food! Big Idea Productions presents... <laughs> Archibald Asparagus. <laughs> Bob the Tomato. Oh, dear. Larry the Cucumber. Perhaps I can be of assistance. <laughs> Oops. And introducing... A caterpillar named Khalil. That is only half true. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. They may be fresh. Uh, they're a fresh when we cut them. <laughs> they may be feisty. Didn't I tell you to get off my ship, you lousy leaf eater? Fire one! But soon, they may be lunch. <laughs> Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie. This fall. Only in theaters. It is very delightful, but I must go now. What a lovely morning. Time to wake the children. Hello, world, in a song. I'm awake. A whole lot of love is what we'll be bringing. We'll Darling, is that really as tight as you can make it? Hello. Wednesday. What do you have there? I'm not sure. There's usually a murderous clown attached to the other end of these. We'll make you happy. Thank you, old boy. Lead the we'll way. Make you happy. Different. Pugsley, don't drink it all. This gentleman wants some too. Ah! What a nervous man. I just party. Let's not Welcome to the neighborhood. What an interesting home. Fire in the hole. <clears throat> you sunk my battleship. Yes. These people are monsters. They'll ruin the neighborhood. Hey, baby. What I do? Down, we're all the same. Let's show them what it means to be an Adams. This is gonna be lit. Choke on this! They said we got problems. I've got candy. Oh, yes! Override this family. Yuck. I've done this thousands of times. Totally awesome. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Got the rolling home and I'm pouring Sean Dunn. Cause I got it going on. Gossin, you made it! Let me go, we let me go. Zoom on, we love you, let me go.
And now, the main attraction. Well, this movie is going to be total cringe, don't you agree, boys? Yeah, Rayman, I agree with you, dude. This is going to be total cringe and torture. So, guess, would you like to watch a commentary on a 1970s movie trailer? Of course, Modern Sonic. I bet this is going to be weird and vintage at the same time, you know? Yep, so, here is the video, boys. Whoa, that the 1970s movie trailer's visuals will make our ears wiggle since it's weird, so let's watch the video. Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell, I'm Larry Karaszewski. And I'm going to take us back uh, a while uh, to when I was a little kid. Uh, I think I had just turned 10. Um, and uh, everyone in my house got very excited about a new movie coming out. It starred the guy from The Graduate. And my sisters really wanted to go. And so that Friday, I, got, I was allowed to stay up late uh, and go to the 9 o'clock show with, uh, with my sisters. And... Um, and we all got in uh, in line. It was you had to wait to get in because the previous show hadn't let out yet, and uh, it was snowing, and we we're in our in our in our snow clothes, and uh, they let the people out, and the audience looked a little angry. <laughs> uh, in fact, one guy was screamed at everyone standing in line, like "Get your money back! Don't go in there! This movie sucks!" And I had never seen that kind of uh, hostility. <laughs> to a film before and it made a real impression on me uh but you know we were determined we stayed in line and we went in and we saw um dustin hoffman and who is harry kellerman and why is he saying those terrible things about me and indeed it wasn't very good but we're gonna look at the trailer Georgie Soloway has 14 gold records. This is a very perplexing film because everything about it seems great. I mean, just watching this trailer, Hoffman, Jack Warden, that 1970s set design, it looks super intriguing. Yet when you watch it, almost nothing works. It all just misses. You don't want to be too mean because clearly they were trying for something very cool. Rui Grossbard can be a solid director, but I'm not sure this kind of social commentary satire is his bag. His best movie is also with Hoffman, and it's as serious as they come, Straight Time, about an ex-con fresh out of prison. I'm also a fan of his film Falling in Love with Meryl Streep and Robert De Niro. Grossbard could always get an amazing cast. He's thought of as an actor's director. He has an interesting origin story, started as an assistant director on some great films, Splendor in the Grass, The Hustler, The Miracle Worker. It's interesting, you'd think being an assistant director would lead to being a director, but that's rarely the case. Grossbard is one of the very few, and he switched mediums first to do it, going to the stage to direct The Subject Was Roses. He then uses that material as his first film, getting an Oscar nomination for Patricia Neal and a win for Jack Albertson. He actually gets Barbara Harris an Oscar nomination for Harry Kellerman. I mean, this film got awful reviews and was a flop, but Harris is so good in her one big scene that she somehow broke through. It's almost worth watching the film just for her. I love Barbara Harris. Hoffman plays a rock star in this movie. His songs were written by Shel Silverstein, the author, poet, cartoonist, probably best known for The Giving Tree. He wrote songs like A Boy Named Sue and funky, funny stuff for Dr. Hook, like the cover of The Rolling Stone. That's kind of what Hoffman's songs sound like here. The script is by Herb Gardner, a humanistic playwright. His biggie was A Thousand Clowns that was turned into a hip at the time movie with Jason Robards that was nominated for Best Picture. It hasn't aged well, but age just probably helped uh, Carrie Kellerman. It's like a time capsule now. You can just soak in its 1970s weirdness. Whoa, 
Oh, Sonic! This trailer commentary was so weird and vintage at the same time. This made Myers wiggle, you know that. Yeah. Tails, I agree with you. Dude, this was so weird, so eerie, and so vintage at the same time. Yeah, I agree with you, Sonic, Tails. This was so weird and vintage. Yep, agreed as well, boys. This was totally weird, eerie, and vintage, this movie trailer commentary. Yep, agreed. Boys, this was totally weird, eerie, and vintage. Yeah, this was so weird, so eerie, and so vintage with this movie trailer commentary. Hello, Team Sonic, Gold Mario, Sonic Boom, Tails Boom, and Eggman Boom. We have something to tell you. Well, hi there, Team Pokemon. What is something that you wanted to tell us, guys? Well, Gigan and Megalon are forcing Team Rayman to watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, released in 1995. Whoa, that's torture, isn't it, guys? Yeah, Sonic, I agree with you, Tink. This is totally torture. What shall we do, boys? Hey, I have an idea. Let's change it from the 1995 Power Rangers movie to the double feature of One Piece film Red and Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. How's that, guys? That's an awesome idea, boys. Let's do this. Awesome. Let's do this, boys. We're on a mission to start. So, everybody, are you ready to change it from the 1995 Power Rangers movie to the double feature of One Piece and Black Panther 2? Yep. Born ready, Sonic. Let's change it right now. Awesome! Let's go into the projection room, boys! So, how's the freaking movie? Well, this movie is total grinch. This is very awful, you know. It's starting toxic. Yeah, Kirby, I agree with you. This movie is too darn toxic. As well as the fan base. Yeah, Rayman Kirby agreed. This movie is too toxic, a total cringe, and very weird at the same time, you know. Well, yeah, I hear the sounds of the cinema into my wiggling ears. How about you, Dales? Yeah, Sonic! Definitely wiggle my ears and listen to the sounds of the cinema into my ears. I hear it clearly. Yep, I can wiggle my ears and listen to the cinema at the same time. Yeah, I hear it into my signal ear as well. All right. Are you ready to do this, boys? Oh, yes, we are. Froki, let's change it to this weird 1990 superhero movie to an awesome double feature. Great. Let's do this, everybody. Do it. Now, what? What the hell happened to my Team Orphan Power Rangers, the movie, from 1995? Did it get turned off and changed it into another movie? Oh no. That's right. We changed it from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie to the double feature of One Piece film Red, and Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Happy now, Gigan, and Megalon, you Godzilla enemy jerks. Not One Piece and Black Panther. These movies are going to suck so bad. Put back on the Power Rangers 1995 movie back on right now, idiots. No, not this time, you Godzilla enemy jerks. Yep, the movie trailers are about to start right now. Get used to it. Dustin Hoffman is in action, as you've never seen him before, in his newest movie, Little Big Man. With the help of Martin Balsam and Faye Dunaway, he makes Little Big Man the comedy adventure of the year. You murdered fool! <laughs> Got to cut your throat to get it through your head, I'm a white man! White? Sure I'm white! 
can hear me say, God bless George Washington. God bless my mother. I mean, no, what kind of Indian would say a fool thing like that? Dustin Hoffman in Little Big Man. What moviegoer could ask for more? Rated GP. attack on Pearl Harbor, as told from both the United States and Japanese sides. Once two nations made war, today they have collaborated to make a motion picture of unequaled magnitude and importance, recreating the actual events leading up to the day that changed the course of history. Cora, Cora, Cora! Torah, 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 an unprecedented film, bringing you answers to one of the most controversial mysteries of our age. How could the attack on Pearl Harbor have happened? Colonel, sir, if we do spot something, what do we do? Report it to headquarters, damn it. How, sir? We haven't got a telephone, sir. There's a gasoline station about a mile down the road. They must have a phone. Why was one nation unprepared while another was geared for war? Why did the plan for the sneak attack split the Japanese high command wide open? Lee should have stayed in San Diego where it belongs. I made the mistake of pointing that out to Roosevelt. Why was Admiral Yamamoto marked for assassination by the Japanese warlords? Does anybody trust anybody anymore? Why was the President of the United States office considered a security risk? How did the Japanese rehearse their doomsday attack on Pearl Harbor? Damn it, why can't Washington give us the full inside story? Why did they keep the American command in the dark? What part was played by the strange Japanese officer they called Gandhi? How did U.S. intelligence know of the attack before the Japanese ambassador did? What was the fateful blunder made by Admiral Nagumo? How was a mighty Japanese task force able to race 4,000 miles across the Pacific undetected? What caused the notorious radar error? Yeah, well, don't worry about it. Here's a message to the commanding general of Fort Chapter. Uh, is it marked urgent? No. Why was Washington's last urgent warning sent by ordinary telegram? <laughs> the sun came up, the bombs came down, and the world came apart. For the first time, a motion picture tells what really happened at Pearl Harbor. Century Fox presents Phantom of the Paradise, a gothic horror story. What was that? A beautiful love story. A cinematic odyssey through the rock universe. From Greece to glitter. And beyond. The story of a sound. The man who created it. The girl who sang it. The monster who stole it. And the phantom who haunts the paradise. The ultimate rock palace. 
Phantom of the Paradise. My music is for Phoenix. Only she can sing it. Anyone else that tries dies. Phoenix. Phoenix. So you told me one time that you'd be somebody that you weren't working just to survive. B. To snow! Whoa, whoa, ow! Man, you better get yourself a castrato for this. Paul Williams as Swan. And the angels that do. I want you to stop terrorizing the paradise and rewrite your cantata. And the Phantom. Stop and try me, uh, only you might satisfy me, uh. <laughs> Phantom of the Paradise. There really is the Phantom, Phantom. from beyond time from beyond the outer limits of your imagination he's the master of the flying guillotine and he's ready to blow your mind with more nerve shattering special effects than you have ever seen before it's a trip into a world where warriors from the ends of the universe meet in combat that knows no boundaries. A world where silent soldiers of death try everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the master of the flying guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. As he experiences the most spectacular adventures the mind can imagine. The master of the flying guillotine. He was the best. He killed the rest. The master killer. The master of the martial kung fu art. Revenge drove him on. Vengeance would be his. The Manchu warlords would pay for their crimes. See the master killer, the greatest artisan of Kung Fu. He is the best. The master killer, rated R from World Northall. Beneath the surface of our planet, they're getting ready for battle. But one soldier is marching to a different tune. Sacrifice. To some, it is just a word. To others, it is a code. He's, you know, I'm really bad at word games. <laughs> a soldier knows that the life of an individual ant doesn't matter. What matters is the colony. He's willing to live for the colony, to fight for the colony to die for the colony. This guy's crazy. <laughs> I hear you. At 0800 hours, we receive word that the termite enemy has mobilized. We have no choice but to launch a preemptive strike. I am proud to send you into battle. Into... I'm, so, I'm sorry, into battle? Dismiss. Left face. Forward march. Yeah, I, you know, I think there's been a terrible mistake. I, you know, <clears throat> the truth is, I, I just I just came for the speech. Don't worry, kid. I'll watch out for you. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three. Huh? The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah. Hurrah. We slaughter termites just for fun. Hurrah. Hurrah. So, 
these these termites, they're they're these guys are not going to put up much of a fight, right? I mean, we're talking about pushovers, right? Not really, kid. They're five times our size, and they shoot acid from their foreheads. Hey, keep it moving, shorty. See, what exactly what does our platoon do? I mean, you, you know, are we going to be serving beverages or or processing paperwork? Our platoon or... has the best assignment of all. We're the first into battle. Hey, fellas, that's, you're being a little extreme, I feel. Why, why, don't we, why don't we just try and influence their political process with campaign contributions? Come on! Let's kick some termite ass! Over the top! Yeah! DreamWorks Animation and BDI present... Ants. For centuries, mothers and fathers have read these stories to the delight of children everywhere. But there is one tale that has yet to be told. You definitely need some Tic Tacs or something, because your breath stinks! Really? DreamWorks Pictures presents Shrek. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Shrek! I'm looking down! The story of an unlikely hero oh, oh. who rescues a beautiful princess. Oh, what? You didn't slay the dragon? It's on my to-do list. From a nasty villain. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man! You monster! <laughs> With the help of his furry companion. You think that Shrek is your true love? Well, yes. <laughs> Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz, John Lithgow. Oh, oh. Yeah! What kind of knight are you? One of a kind. Everybody needs a little Shrek. 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 They got a big one. Then I saw her face. Shrek. I just know before this is over, I'm gonna need a whole lot of serious therapy. Look at my eye twitching. Quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? <laughs> Being reckless. Don't worry, nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman. Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Woohoo! Trust me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. <laughs> but you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? Papa's got a brand new stash. Ha! Since I've been gone, I've discovered the source of ultimate power. That sounds big. It's been on my vision board for years. Hope I'm not too late. I'm sorry, who are you? Name's Tails. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Today's forecast calls for a 100% chance of adventure. <laughs> Return to sender. Face it, you're never going to get my power. Do I look like I need your power? Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles.
I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're at ex-con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. People still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite for deep space, but Quana. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Turn it off. Now! Here's the thing. We're a team of thieves. And when you do this, you're bound to make enemies. Sometimes those enemies come looking for revenge. Truth be told, we help the wrong person steal the wrong thing. We didn't mean to unleash the greatest evil the world has ever known. But we're gonna fix it. So how do we pull that off? Uh... Figure it out over a drink? Probably best. You need cool Then give us a fighting chance. We're gonna need strength. You got this, right? I know you don't. We also need courage. Back to school. Magic. And you. What is that again? It's an owl there. Let's go! Be warned. There is evil here. I'm glad he's on our side. Wanna hold on to This one's dangerous. But whatever happens. We'll be ready. What is it exactly that you bring to this? I'm a planner. I make plans. You've already made the plan, so... If the existing plan fails, I make a new plan. So you make plans that fail? No. He also plays the loot. Not relevant.
the king of the Koopas! <laughs> Open the gates! A taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. I finally found it. Now, who's gonna stop me? <laughs> That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! The main attraction! Wow, these, these movie, movie trailers, trailers were, were so, so awesome. awesome! Yep, I agree with you, Sonic and Tails. These were so awesome. Yep, the ones with the 1970s martial arts movie trailers made my ears wiggle. It was so funny. Awesome, Mom. Yep, agreed, boys. These movie trailers made my ears wiggle. And they're so awesome. <laughs> Gagan, Megalon, you are in big trouble for forcing Team Rayman to watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie from 1995. You know the fan base is darn toxic. Yep. I agree with Sonic the Hedgehog here. Listen to the blue blur. You are in deep trouble for forcing us to watch this weirdness from the 1990s. Go home right now. Yep. I agree with Klonoa. Go home right now before we call Godzilla to punish you too. Go home right now.
are we going to watch the trailer for the new Netflix series called Sonic Crime? I bet this show will be so awesome. Of course, Sonic. Here's the trailer for Netflix's Sonic Prime. Let's watch the trailer. Oh man! I can't wait for the Netflix trailer. I can't wait to see Team Sonic and the others in this trailer. Yeah, so what the heck are you waiting for? Let's watch the trailer. Alright, here's the trailer. Let's watch it. Oh look, here's the trailer, boys. Let's watch. Hello, I'm Sonic. When you've got a crew like mine, there's nothing that can stop you. Ah! Hey guys! Sonic! Eggman! Just in time to watch me claim the Paradox Prism! Yawn! Yep, I yawned you, Eggman. Ah! Crush them all! Shatter spaces. Pirates, awesome! If we lose this fight, there won't be anything left to fight for. So we're gonna fix it. Because we got the whole band back together. I'm in the fence of danger. I'm in the fence of danger. Destroy them! Enough running. We're gonna fix the world! I'm in the face of danger! I'm in the face of danger! Sonic Shadow? Whoa! This trailer was so awesome as heck! Sonic, I agree with you with this trailer. That was so awesome. Yep, this Netflix movie trailer was so darn awesome, guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, boys, I agree with you with this new Sonic series trailer. It was so awesome as heck. Oh yes, that was so awesome. Sonic Prime trailer was so awesome. Yeah, my ears can't stop wiggling after watching this new Sonic Prime trailer. That was so awesome. <laughs>